storms perked up as a, a little disturbance came by aloft uh, this afternoon, but now they're starting to really die off. But I want to show you something kind of interesting. You see the heavier storms down over parts of Maryland. Well, watch this little line. You see that little line right there? I'll run it through again. You see this line coming out of there? That's outflow. That's cold air coming out of the thunderstorms. And what it's doing is it's popping some more storms, acting kind of like a cold front. I think that's what's uh, setting off some of these storms down around Emmitsburg, south of Waynesboro, and over toward uh, south of Gettysburg, north of Emmitsburg. But if you're heading out to the South Mountain Fair, I think you're okay. I, I think most of these showers are gone. You can see the rain starting to let up and really drying up over parts of southern Lancaster County into Chester County. This is one little cell uh, just to the west of uh, Lewistown now. Uh, a lot of lightning with it, but it's a pretty compact cell. These cells, as they've been coming off the mountains, the tendency has been that they kind of fall apart. Looking live right now on our Harrisburg Sky Camp, some hazy sunshine came back out. Got the clouds, got the rain and lightning. And then the sun came back out. Temperatures uh, have responded a little bit. In fact, we're back up to 78 degrees in Harrisburg, 70 on the dew point side. So, yeah, the, the dew points really came up today, set the stage for heavy rain. There's very little wind aloft, so these storms just kind of sat over some spots. And that's what I think caused the, uh, the, the, some of the flooding situation, but also some of the winds, the, the momentum of the rain coming down. Those storms are going to be kind of stray this evening and dying out. I think otherwise we'll drop out from near 80 into the 70s. Kind of a muggy night tonight. Could be some haze and fog, especially if your neighborhood got some rain. Yeah, watch for that haze or fog late tonight, early tomorrow morning. I think we start with clouds tomorrow, then we become partly sunny. The sun comes out, heats things up. Yeah, they'll pop like popcorn tomorrow afternoon. I think there won't be as many of them. Uh, storms that is for tomorrow afternoon, nor will they be as heavy. But again, we could have a few around later on tomorrow, mid 80s to near 90 tomorrow afternoon. 87 again today, low was 71 degrees. Uh, that's about on par for this time of the year. Seven tenths, almost uh, seven tenths of an inch at Harrisburg International Airport. Some other reports, although they didn't report anything, it was just a trace at uh, Fort Indian Town Gap in Lebanon. Uh, some areas of Lebanon got some heavier rain than that. Six tenths in Carlisle, uh, about four tenths in Gettysburg, and Lancaster had about a half inch of a rainfall. Here are the numbers right now. It's bounced to 80 degrees in Lancaster, still 86 in Chambersburg. Sealands grows back up to 82. And those dew points, yeah, they're pretty steamy. They're back up near that 70 degree mark all across the board. And there's a lot of 60 and 70 degree dew points over the east. So, yeah, it is pretty unstable almost anywhere. And we're getting thunderstorms popping hit and miss variety. There is a line back toward Detroit, north of Chicago, Minneapolis area. That's another cold front, but what touched off our storms a little disturbance aloft. That's going to slide to the east, will dry out, but with high pressure to the south, we're going to stay with the southwesterly flow of air. Now this front, I think, will stall probably up over New York State. Won't get here, won't cool it off. But a second front will be moving in and moving eastbound. Now ahead of that, we're going to be warm. We're going to be humid and steamy tomorrow afternoon again. That's why there could be some storms around. I think we'll start Friday pretty humid. Could be a shower, thunder shower. But I think most of the storms will wait until late in the day or at night even ahead of that front. Good news is it looks like that front is sliding on through here and gets out of here for most of the weekend. It could be pretty good. So tomorrow afternoon, again, there's a chance of storms, but it's a lower likelihood tomorrow afternoon. Then we get into uh, Friday. The, the probability of rain really starts to ramp up, but it comes down over the weekend, and so does that humidity. We're back into that pleasant range, especially by the time we get to Sunday. So a couple more humid days. Then we start to transition on Saturday, and it looks like after those morning showers, things will improve. Could be some more storms around by the time we get to uh, to Monday and into Tuesday. And still kind of warm, but nothing real hot as we go through the middle of next week. So again, uh, looks like best bet coming Saturday, or excuse me, Friday night into early Saturday. Stormy week, huh? Yeah, it has been. Yeah. All right, thank you, Joe. Well, two